vlog time. So yeah, so I did a postpartum update and I did an update about nursing and all that stuff. So now I'm just going to talk about whatever the heck I want because it's mom vlog. Remember guys, what's the rule of thumb? Mom vlogs, whatever I want to talk about. So yeah, so life has been crazy. I feel like every day something ridiculous happens and usually it involves poop. Like, <laughs> I'm not even kidding you. So much poop in my daily life now, you guys. It's ridiculous. So much poop. So, <laughs> I, don't, I don't even know where to go with that. So, I have my almost eight-week-old, and then I have my almost two-year-old, and they keep me busy. And I try to get out of the house pretty much every day because it's actually easier. Because when I get out of the house, I can take Sophie to do something. So, she's getting to do something fun, and she's getting tired. And Grayson sleeps better when we're out for some reason. I don't know why, but he does, so it's nice there. And yeah, so I'm busy. And I started working out last week, so I just go to the mall and walk because it's still hot as heck here. And so, <laughs> yeah, I go to the mall and walk. And I the whole time I'm walking, I just like keep talking to Sophie and like pointing things out to her. To, so I, I try to get at least two miles in. And I can usually get two miles in before Sophie gets tired of what we're doing. So if I can get two brisk miles in, I figure that combined with just the normal activities of, of you know, chasing the kids around is a pretty good start to, to start getting, you know, start a workout, start being more healthy. So, yeah, I've been doing that. You know, Kyle's loving his job so much, and I'm so happy. I love that he loves his job. And I'm not even going to lie to you guys. I love the, the new salary is awesome. Like, what's, you know, you, what's not to love about that? And so that's nice. Kyle and I have got to go out with ourselves a few times, um, and it's funny because I really miss him, and when we've gone out, I'm like, oh yeah, I really like this guy. <laughs> it's like, it reminds me, I like my husband. Of course I love him, but I also like him. I enjoy his company. He makes me laugh. So, um, and you know, Kyle and I, it's so funny, we've been together for so long, but I still... When I make Kyle laugh, when I say something funny and I make him laugh, I still feel like good. I'm like, oh, I made him laugh. He must like me. Like, it's still that kind of feeling. So that's a really good thing. So I like spending time with him because it just reminds me. Uh, Sophie is going to be too soon, you guys. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know when that happened either. You tell me. You guys have been watching. I mean, someone tell me how that happened because <laughs> I'm not sure. She is crazy smart and... Yeah, I'm going to brag about it, and, you know, I know some people are like, I don't like moms to brag about the kids, but I think all moms and all dads have a right to brag a little bit about the children because all of our kids do something at some point that's just really awesome. So, <laughs> Sophie is amazing, you guys. She, it's ridiculous. She's just, she's not even two yet, and the stuff she does just blows my mind, and I just love her so much. She is hilarious. She's so funny. She just, she... And she's not just funny incidentally, like where she doesn't realize she's being funny. Like all two-year-olds don't know the, how funny they are. Like she's intentionally funny as well. Like she'll crack jokes or do something and then we'll laugh and she'll be like, Sophie's silly. And we're like, yes, she is. Like, <laughs> and that girl sings all the time and her pitch is wonderful. I don't know many two-year-olds with pitch that's so good. And it makes me so proud of her. I'm like, oh, I seriously, I told Kyle. It was, and she dances all the time, you guys. Dances up a storm. And... I, it just she's just so funny she's very outgoing she's very 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 bossy which I know can be not a good thing but I like to see the positive of her being bossy okay let me just first say most kids her age are bossy but Sophie's bossy even compared to that and um I've even <laughs> I have some friends who've even been like your kid's bossy and I'm like I know so so that's that you know I always am telling Sophie I'm like well let everybody else have a chance to pick what they want to do but at the same time, I'm like, you know what? As long as we foster her to be a good person, she can take that bossiness and turn it into being a leader. So she's definitely the leader. Whenever she's in a play group, she, she leads, unless it's a lot older kid. And then, of course, she just looks at them. I'm curious, you know. But, um, you know, her, her sweet cousin was in town, who's a, just a couple months older than her. And he is the sweetest kid. He's such a good kid. Such a good kid. And just so nice. And just, oh, just like, just a doll of a child. And, um, and his parents are raising him so well. It says, please and thank you, just a sweetheart. And so, <laughs> Sophie was so funny because she would, like, command him. She'd be like, you know, let's run. <laughs> and he'd be like, okay, because he's such a good-natured kid. 
<laughs> so they were so cute together and she'll just kind of take charge of things and it's really funny and um, anyway so to see the good of her being bossy I'm like you know what she'll be a good leader one day and Kyle and I joke we're like I told the grandparents I was like okay guys we are totally gonna just so you know with Sophia we are very obviously going to be going to many recitals and debate meetings and all that stuff and you know plays because that's just I that's her personality and I don't know it's just so funny I'm so proud of her I'm just so proud of her just such a neat little girl do you know what I mean she's such a neat kid and this is gonna sound wrong but I was saying like I was like you know if Grayson's half as neat as Sophie he's gonna be amazing and that sounds wrong it's like I'm underestimating Grayson but I don't mean it like that I just mean you know we we're just so blessed with this amazing little girl and you know she's so amazing I just feel like you know Grayson could even just do part of it and I'm gonna be like wow so I'm sure he's gonna be equally amazing in his own way just like all our kids are all our kids I don't know about you guys but if you watch some of these other YouTube families and you'll see their kids and everybody's kid will do something that you're like seriously did that kid just do that that's amazing so yeah so it's it's really fun it's really fun having an almost two-year-old um, they're a lot of work in some ways um, but they're also will just blow your mind so that's I've been enjoying that I'm enjoying being the mom of a two-year-old so other than that, so guess what we're doing this coming weekend, you guys? We have a wedding we're going to, and it's in, wait for it, El Paso. I know, totally random, but that's where they're from. So I've only been to El Paso one time, and that is when I worked on a TV show um, about SWAT teams. And so I went down and followed the El Paso um, SWAT team on some drug raids. So that's the only time in El Paso. So, <laughs> you know, I didn't get to go to the best parts of El Paso and so anyway we're going there and I am super excited um, because it's our some of our best friends in the entire universe are getting married and they practically have already been married they're just now making it official that's how it seems and so um, we're flying out on the 9th Sophie turns 2 on the 8th and so when she turns 2 all of a sudden the airlines have to charge for her ticket and so I was like I am not paying that much money for my just turned two-year-old to fly when two days before she could fly free so we are not bringing Sophia and I'm kind of bummed about that but it was just gonna be really expensive and two we're flying out really quick and we decided that she'd probably enjoy some one-on-one -on -one time with her grandparents um, my parents are going but Kyle's parents are not even though they were invited so um, they're gonna watch Sophia here and Kyle Grayson and I and my parents were all going so we're gonna make the trip and we're flying so that should be exciting so I'm gonna totally film all that and my plan is I'm gonna wear Grayson I'm either gonna wear him in the Moby wrap or the Ergo I'm not sure which one yet um, we'll see but I'm gonna wear him and I'm just gonna try to nurse him constantly to keep him happy but he's he's pretty cool like if he's if I'm wearing him he sleeps really well too so yeah totally excited about that and then so we'll see how that goes and then I have another wedding in October and I had to I ordered my bridesmaid's dress two weeks postpartum and I had to get a bigger size on account of the boobs but it fit it fit okay everywhere else too well I just got it and it's too big so um I guess I lost I didn't really lose much more poundage but I must have just deflated more because it was too big but I'll just have to have it altered but regardless it's a gorgeous dress I actually want to wear this bridesmaid dress it's just beautiful and I found the cutest heels to go with it which is awesome and that's in October in Austin Texas and so we will all be going to that <laughs> Sophie Sophie loves weddings so I'm excited to take her and um, she will definitely probably dance the night away so <laughs> yeah that'll be awesome and then what else is going on in life? Well, her birthday party's coming up, and so I've been planning her a fishy-themed birthday party because um, she loves fish. So it's going to be a pool party because she also loves to swim. And so I'm excited. And it's, like, hurricane season, so we have a hurricane, like, rain-out date. So if, if, it's, if there's a hurricane <laughs> or it rains on the date of her party, we will have it the next weekend. So it's funny that I live somewhere where you have to do that. Um, and I hired a, another YouTuber, um, who is a friend of mine and she's going to do the photos. Um, I hired her to take the photos of Sophie's birthday party because that'll be awesome to have a professional photographer there taking photos so I don't have to worry about it for once, which is great. So I'm really excited about that. And, um, 
Honestly, I would have invited her anyway because I really like her. <laughs> she's, she's a friend. She went to the same high school I went to. So, anyway, that, that is that. That's what's going on and that's what's upcoming in my life. Um, I have to tell you guys, like I said, I feel like every day something happens. Every day. I told my mom. It's a story in my life. Oh, so those of you who are on Facebook or follow me on Twitter are, you know, are friends with me, they're no my crazy st this week when I say something crazy happens every day I mean it this week I locked Grayson in the car guys I locked my baby in a car that what you hear about people doing that but you don't ever think you're gonna do that especially because I have my car it's supposed to be impossible to lock your keys in the car when you're buying the car they're like oh and these keys you can't lock the like when the keys are in the car you can't lock yourself you know blah blah no you sure as heck can lock those keys in the car, so <laughs> it was horrible. I had automatically started my car, um, and whenever you do an automatic start from like far away, the car automatically locks. And then you go over and you unlock the car to get in, um, and then you manually turn like a little fob thing because you don't have to, it's a keyless system. You don't even put a key into an ignition, you know, it's just like buttons and stuff. So, anyway. I had manually started the car, so it was cooling down in the garage, and then I took Grayson out, loaded him, I unlocked the doors, you have to unlock the doors to get the kid in the car, so I unlocked the doors, put Grayson in, tossed, you know, my, my keys on the seat, shut the door, or actually didn't shut the door, left the door open with him, went and got Sophie, and as I walked by Gr Grayson's door to put Sophie on the other side, shut his door, went over, and as I was walking over Sophie's side, I heard the sound of, like, clicking like the door do like the locks clicking but I didn't really think anything about it went to open the door it was locked and I was like that's weird um so I was like oh you know sometimes like if you just hit the buttons once like the driver's door stays unlocked but not the rest and I was like maybe that's what happened but that didn't make any sense because I'd put Grayson in the car and it was unlocked so I went over and all the doors were locked you guys and like I can't tell you the feeling I had like my brain refused refused to accept that this was happening to me for like a good minute. For like a good minute my brain was like, no, no, surely not. Of course not. <laughs> this is not happening. And so then when I finally was like, okay, this is happening, and I set Sophie down and Sophie got upset. She was like, Grayson's stuck in the car. And she was like telling me to unlock the car. She's like, unlock it. And I was like, I can't unlock the car, Sophie. So we like went in the house and fortunately he was in the garage with the doors open of course so no exhaust worry and the car was actually running like the air was on so i and he <laughs> i was like trying to look into my car you know how your car windows can be tinted and there's different levels of tint my car has limo tint it has like like that super dark tinting so it is so hard to see in the windows and i was staring i was like is he okay so I finally was able to i found a spot where i could like kind of see him and he was like sleeping and i was like oh thank god so anyway, I called my mom and I called an emergency locksmith and and I, I had to we had to call the you know the police but like fortunately since the air was running the police didn't have to do anything cuz there wasn't like a heat worry even though we're in Texas but you know I mean Houston weather's over 100 degrees but like I said he was in the garage the car was already cool the air was running so anyway yeah long story short they all came Grayson slept the whole time. Even when the guy was getting my keys out, my alarm went off. So the alarm was going off, so he was trying to hurry, and it was so loud. That alarm was so loud. And he finally, he got it out, he got the thing, I opened the door, and Grayson was like blinking at me, and then he just like went back to sleep. And I was like, really? <laughs> you are the best baby ever. So, yeah. But I swear, something crazy, maybe not that extreme, happens every day. It is exhausting, but also hilarious <laughs> life, like right now. So yeah, and hopefully now that I'm gonna get back into the hang of vlogging, I can actually share these little stories that happen with you guys, so you guys can make me feel better. Like I'm not the only one who has a crazy life going on. <laughs> so yeah, so that's that. But um, yeah, so having the two kids under two's been okay. Um, kind of fun, very tiring. I f still don't quite feel settled into my new role. So I, I feel like we're not quite settled yet, still, which is an odd feeling, but it's not really bad feeling, like it could be bad, but so far it hasn't been bad, it's more just like it's there. So yeah. Alright, that's it for now you guys, I'm going to go do some editing of these videos so I can post them up, and I will talk to everybody later. Bye guys.